Rudolf Hess was a prominent Nazi official and deputy Führer of Germany under Adolf Hitler during World War II. His sudden and unauthorized solo flight to Britain in May 1941 remains one of the most enigmatic events of the war. Background of Rudolf Hess Explore Rudolf Hess's early life, rise within the Nazi party, and his role as Hitler's trusted confidant and deputy. Flight to Britain Planning and Preparation Delve into the circumstances leading up to Hess's flight, including his growing disillusionment with Hitler's leadership and his belief in the possibility of negotiating peace with Britain. The Solo Flight On the night of May 10, 1941, Hess embarked on a daring solo flight from Germany to Scotland in a Messerschmitt Bf 110 aircraft, navigating over 800 miles of enemy territory. Arrival and Capture Landing in Scotland Hess parachuted from his aircraft and landed near Eaglesham, Scotland, where he was initially mistaken for an ordinary German pilot. Capture and Detention Hess was taken into custody by local authorities and later handed over to British military officials. His capture sparked widespread intrigue and speculation about his motives and intentions. Interrogation and Investigation Interrogation by British Intelligence British intelligence agencies, including MI5, interrogated Hess extensively in an attempt to uncover the reasons behind his unauthorized flight and his peace proposals. Hess's Statements Analyze Hess's statements and claims during his captivity, including his assertions of seeking to negotiate a peace settlement between Germany and Britain. Conspiracy Theories and Speculations Official Explanations Despite extensive investigations, the true motives behind Hess's flight remain unclear. Official British and German accounts offer conflicting explanations, further fueling speculation. Conspiracy Theories Explore various conspiracy theories surrounding Hess's flight, including allegations of secret diplomatic initiatives, intelligence operations, and even possible involvement by occult or esoteric groups. Imprisonment and Trial Imprisonment in Britain Hess remained in British custody for the duration of the war and was later transferred to various prisons, including the Tower of London. Nuremberg Trials After the war, Hess was indicted as a war criminal and stood trial alongside other high-ranking Nazi officials at the Nuremberg Trials. He was sentenced to life imprisonment. Legacy and Aftermath Death in Spandau Prison Rudolf Hess spent the rest of his life imprisoned at Spandau Prison in Berlin. He died under mysterious circumstances in 1987, leading to further speculation and conspiracy theories. Historical Significance The mystery of Rudolf Hess's flight continues to captivate historians and researchers, offering insights into the complexities of Nazi ideology, leadership dynamics, and the twilight years of World War II.